All right, troops. So while I've been training lately, I've had this idea swirling about my head that I need to get out to you guys because I feel that it will have huge benefits to your buppy routines, your body weight routines, just your general training. And what it is, is including the goblet squat in the majority of your routines or trying to fit them in there. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I used to have a big squatting background. The squat used to be my favourite exercise and it was the, the it was the exercise that opened up the gates with regards to fitness. It made me feel part of something and this goes back to the early 2000s, late 90s. When squat was not a popular exercise, squat racks were very rarely seen in gyms, they were very machine dominant. And a subculture started to form through the books of uh, Brooks Cubic Dinosaur Training and Stuart McRobert. And these guys emphasised the squat. And that was quite a, a paradigm shift for me because I was just going to gyms and training with machines. So I always had a big love for the squat. However, as time went on and as I started getting older, injuries started to mount up with the squat. And it was an exercise I viewed with trepidation. So I kind of put it to the back burner got into my body weight routines and body weight squats mainly became the focus. I still included goblet squats in, uh, in opportune moments, but it was never a strict necessity in my programming as such until recently. Now, recently I've decided to include goblet squats and the effects that they have had on my conditioning per personally have been very profound. So for example, the other night I was doing a tactical barbell uh, routine and it's meat eater with this, which is combining the burpees and uh, kettlebell swings and what happened was, was I put the squats in as well and it, it confirmed the realisation or my beliefs that this goblet squat will take your heart rate into the stratosphere. Now, for me personally, when I do burpees, my heart rate kind of lingers between, say, 140. Then as the session starts to go on, it starts to climb. But it will dip at points and it will probably never go above 155. Then you bring the goblet squat in and you are talking a leap from 155 up to the 170 mark. Easy. So... In that respect, if you need to increase the intensity of your burpee routines, then it is best advised you bring the goblet squat into play. That is going to make things a lot more demanding and you will gain the benefits from that extra intensity that you're adding into the routine. There's also going to be other benefits such as endurance in the legs. And another one which I've became more and more aware of is the upper load or the load on the upper body but particularly particularly the upper back. Uh, the goblet squat gets a, a bit of a bad rep in some respects from the bodybuilding community in particular where they claim that it's the upper back, the arms which will fatigue before the legs and I get the point if you're trying to grow your legs then you want to put all the focus on the legs and make sure no other muscle becomes the limiting factor. That's fine. But burpee guys, body weight guys, guys that are trying to get fatigue resistant, as the IMO says, guys that are just trying to get fit, that is not a factor. We are just looking to put the body under serious load to get the desired effects. And the goblet squat is perfect for that. You know yourself, when you're doing a goblet squat, the upper back starts to really, really feel it as the reps start to accumulate. But that's to our benefits because that is creating that fatigue resistance which we all desire. It's also increasing the intensity and putting us in the dark place sooner rather than later. So with that in mind, I would suggest that all you buppy practitioners out there Get yourself a kettlebell if you don't have one. If you've got one, start bringing it into play with goblet squats specifically and start adding them any way you can into your routines. Any routine I'll be posting from this point will be goblet squat heavy. And just a wee shout out to Jim Wendler. When you look at the 531 Cryptia program, you notice that he puts a lot of goblet squats in between exercises. And if it's good enough for Jim Wendler, 
then believe me, it's good enough for me. So, the Goblet Squat, great exercise, all round body builder, not in the conventional muscle building sense, but just building that fitness, building that capacity to take load and endure the pain. So I would definitely recommend that you guys have a look at a Goblet Squat, try and factor it into your programming, and then just watch things unfold, watch your workouts become a lot more demanding and that will in turn have benefits which will be conducive to your burpee goals. Anyway, listen, as per usual, thanks for staying strong and thanks for staying conditioned.